Welcome back to WWE 2K24, my GM mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, on the road to WrestleMania this week. It's Tuesday. And Andre Chase wants a solo match to prove a point to his tag team partner, Mr. Cameron Grimes. And therefore, he will get that solo dolo matchup, but he will fight the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. So, congrats there, Chase. Have fun with that, and we'll see how it goes. Otherwise, our main event for the U.S. title, we have Finn Balor, and we have that big, beefy boy, Otis, who are in a feud now, so they get locked in for that. Shinsuke needs to sit home, and the problem with booking Gunta and L.A. Knight is we need the turn... And, I mean, I can book Roxanne versus Jobber, I guess, but we know we need to have a call out because we don't have our last available feud just yet, which is indeed Bailey and Charlotte, who is still hurt for one more week. So might as well get this out of the way, which is indeed the role change for Gunta from face back to heel. That's 10 grand. And then... The call out from LA Knight to Gunta. Yeah. Because the three rivalries that need levels are LA Knight and Gunta, Bailey and Charlotte, and Finn Balor and Otis. And here seems to be the problem with booking Roxanne Perez versus a jobber. In that, if we go over into our talent scouts and we need either a giant or a specialist as a heel because Roxanne is indeed a face. Search, and there's nobody. If I move it up from rookies to established stars and spend more money, I get nobody. I get nobody. Like, at what point I'm gonna go one higher to 10,000 to search for renowned level talent? I don't even wanna spend that much on bringing somebody for one week to fight Roxanne Perez. It's just not a good use of my current available budget. But as we've seen, there ain't nobody. Cameron Grimes, Kit Wilson. Because why not? But also Cameron Grimes at 39 in his stamina. What's the deal in the power cards? So coast to coast is... Interference, uh, Superstar's GM is morale, and that raises popularity. I don't need, I need, you know, a physio card. I don't have one of those. And we bring in one Nicholas Mann for one week to fight Braun Breaker, I guess. So get on in there, Braun Breaker, and not Nakamura, he's at 25, uh, Nick Mann. Fighting a jobber, because that's what Braun Breaker do these days. And so a very promo-heavy... And main event type show, the rest of the card is going to be terrible as things have tended to go lately. But sure, uh, I have 112 in the bank. Uh, are there any level 3? They all cost 100k. It's just not a good deal for me. In any event, let's lock it in, I guess, and confirm that booking. And so the opener... Specialist versus Specialist, please don't get hurt, Cameron Grimes. To the moon! Good! Three stars! I'll take that, yes, please, thank you, and no injury. So now, the tag teams can rest until pay-per-view. The role change was good to a heel, thank you, Gunta. Braun Breaker, Nick Mann, star and a half, if that. Nick Mann beats Braun Breaker, what is happening? Two stars, mediocre. Wild. The call out, level two. Yes, that worked. Love it. The mid card. Now, you wanted a singles match here, Andre Chase, but it's Damian Priest, and he won the match, so congrats. It was okay. Two and a half. The call out. Yes, level zero. Level one. Lovely. With the queen. And your main event. The man who eats no carbs versus the man who eats all the carbs. It's Otis and Finn Balor for that U.S. title. To the corner, big elbow into the corner from the big man. Big splash. Balor, 
Going for that 1916. Uh, and now Otis is in the drop zone. Will we see it? Coup de gras to Otis in that gigantic stomach. The pinfall, a one, a two, and three. Just one, all it took was one. Successfully defended here on the show today. Four stars, amazing. Level one to level two. So all of my plans on my rivalries all worked out today. Thumbs up. So kudos to me, I guess. Now then, SmackDown, what do you got? Falls count anywhere. Logan Paul, Tony D'Angelo. We're back on this somehow, some way. It is Logan Paul. It was four stars, and there we go. Rangvald gets negative one embarrassing. Mid-card tag team Kyle Slickman and MVP versus the champions, but non-title, in Randy Orton and Julius Creed. It is, indeed, the champs with the win. It was three stars. It was good. Ella gets a good charity promo. The mid-card, Tamina and Scarlett. Title match and new women's champion, three and a half stars. The call out from Lita to Blair was good. And your tag team title main event, Piper and Bliss defend. And still champions. It was a four and a half star classic Katana chance, right? As a level four rivalry, unless you have a card, Teddy, unless you have an injury card, Teddy, you're boned. That goes past WrestleMania. Over on NXT, Gable and Hudson again versus Kaiser and Wolfgang with a Cole Quinn run-in for reasons beyond my understanding. It was three and a half stars. And now Quinn and Kaiser are in. Okay. Cole Quinn demands his attention. Okay. Candice gets plus two on the pop. Mid-card tag team titles. So will Rhea stay two titles? Yes, she will. With Vicky for some reason. Three stars. It was good. Dirty Dom back around gets zero. Mitch and Mia Yim and Valhalla are still having it out. And it is indeed Valhalla. It is three and a half stars. And Taker calling out Dirty Dom is a new rivalry. Kudos, William Regal. And your main event NXT title rematch, Zayn and Veer. Is Veer coming? No, Veer is going. It was three and a half stars. And finally, in the land of extreme, Dijak and Gulak versus Hayes and Champa. And we have Hayes and Champa with the win. It was two and a half stars. Zaya Lee did okay for charity. The mid card, Raquel, Gigi versus Danielle, and at the time, it is indeed Raquel and Gigi. It was three stars, new rivalry. The call out, it was good. Omos back in action versus Apollo Crews because it just will not end between these two. Bitter rivals, but Crews can't lose. Three stars and R Truth with his contractually obligated rematch clause on big. Bronson Reed, it is indeed still Bronson Reed as champion. Three and a half stars. And so, I get good booking, even with my disaster of a mid-card, it's fine. Amazing for SmackDown. Good. And then, poor opening for EC Dubs. 31,000 in the fans, and 90k in the budget. SmackDown does 78, they use a power card on that. 78, and made 48. They used a power card for the fan bonus for 20k more fans. Man, come on, SmackDown. Holla holla, playa. 42,000 on NXT, and 94 for their budget. EC FNW does 41, and they make 92. To the moon. But again, I'm the only one with a trophy. Now, Paul Heyman is about 3,000 fans under me, so right knocking at the door, right there. But Teddy Long now has 78,000 more fans than I do, and that, if he gets a trophy, it's game over for your boy. There ain't, I'll come back from that, it's time for some midweek madness. Damian Priest wants 41,000, and I'm at 202. Let's talk money, Damian, because you aren't in a feud 
right now. What about 28K? I'll take it. And he's annoyed now. It's fine. Triple H, uh, they want a variety uh, tag and a solo. Look, I'm trying, okay? Josie Jane, what's up? I'm Josie Jane. You may have heard of me. I'm a pretty big deal on the internet. You can hire me for free, and I'm sure that my followers would quickly become fans of your brand, putting me in a match. Look, you had me at free, Josie Jane, even with a zero in-ring experience and 16 popularity, but sure. For free, you're hired. Come on down. And Andre Chase proved his points. Get your act together, Cameron Grimes. Love my time at Raw so far. And so, what is left for us to do on a Wednesday? We obviously need to run back-to-back -back Bailey and Charlotte Flair promos on the show tomorrow. We can have, well, still Nakamura, that's going to wait until Thursday, because that's just, if they have a match there, it's going to have to wait until Thursday. The tag teams, cool. Finn Balor at 41 is concerning. They could have one more match here before pay-per-view, I guess. I can finally, tomorrow, main event with Gunta and L.A. Knight. Yeah. So we're getting there. Uh, I don't think we'll hit four on every single rivalry, but man, you do what you got to do. But also, actually, power card here before I go today. To the moon, I can do Roxanne or Josie Jane on popularity. I'm going to do... Roxanne, because I don't care about Josie Chain at all. So, 15 on her next match. If, if she has one, we'll see. That's it for today. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.